I'll find something in Budapest to do my laundry. If not, stanky clothes, here we go. Uh, so far, breakfast, haven't found any eggs. A little disappointed, but uh, we have such a nice view. Kind of uh, takes over the lack of eggs. <laughs> I'm looking pretty fly, this is a fishing shirt. And uh, at one point I'm going to go fishing. <laughs> For what? I don't know, but uh, yeah, roll with the punches. Yeah. As they say in Bagua, <laughs> means uh, keep your head up. <laughs> yeah. right. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. We're about to start a very busy day. I think we're playing as Vienna. Yeah. And I then know. Bratislava. I think so. And then Budapest. All today. So looking forward to it. It's gonna be a long day. Exciting day. <laughs> Andy's winded just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be moving around a lot. But. Anyways, we'll be having fun. Gonna do this later. And, um, feel like a new man. So we're down here in uh, downtown Austria, uh, downtown Vienna. Uh, we just came off public transportation. Uh, sweat inside St. Stephen's Cathedral. Uh, first stop. Uh, we lost Ross. Andre and Tomas, they uh, went for a walk. We thought the cathedral would take longer. It took like five or ten minutes. So now we're waiting around for them. Kind of check out the sites here, a little touristy. Uh, similar to Prague, but uh, neat, neat architecture, some cool buildings. Um, hopefully get to see a little bit more here. Some more gardens and palaces seem to be in our route. But uh, yeah, welcome to Vienna. is Vienna and we are walking around some of the government and parliament buildings. Uh, we're soon going to be venturing into said gardens in front of us. Brad was manhandled by a toy store owner after he stood on the Pinocchio exhibit by, uh, on purpose but we, it was, we thought it was appropriate. Um, we, I, I have been making farting noises around proper Austrian folk. It's enjoyable to watch their reactions. And yeah, that's about where we're at right now. What do you think? Sushi. Cheap sushi. <laughs> Look for some cheap sushi. Lars. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, I'm up for sushi. Come to stay Currently, I'm meeting a, something Turkish. I'm a little bit upset now. But happy because we just ran into an Iranian restaurant. They have game there. They even have fest in June. Most places in the US, when they have an Iranian restaurant, they don't have fest in June. So um, I'm going to probably force another meal down my stomach. I'll meet you guys at the castle. No? That's good. Andre's favorite shop right down the street on the right. Any for man? Hard on? For man, for man. Lunch. These guys had some wonderful sushi. Ross got really drunk. He took like five sake bombs. He's feeling it now. He's not doing so hot. Yeah. Lars and I went and got schnitzel. Pretty good. We we'll eat again. Man for man toys. We have the toys for your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Silly pitch. <laughs> Where are we going now? Uh, Franz. Yeah. Franz Ferdinand's castle, right? No. I heard it's really shocking. <laughs> 2000. <laughs> what? Yo, we got assassinated. Shocking. Oh. Oh, oh, really, it was actually a really bad assassination plot, too. They messed up like three times before they got him. So we're here now, the palace of Franz Ferdinand, famous for dying, starting World War I. <laughs> um, see all that behind me? Pretty neat, we might go inside. Personally, I prefer the view. We get down this way of his garden, overlooking the city.
Ross. How you feeling? Okay. How you feeling, Ross? Okay. That's the color. It's hot. It's hot. How are you, Tomas? I'm ready for Bratislava. Bratislava. Okay. So we're on the road now from Vienna to Bratislava. Bratislava! Andre is really excited. You can tell. He's yeah, lively back there. He's <laughs> lively. He's praying. Yeah. Who's that? Um, <laughs> the fort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The ride out of uh, the ride out of Vienna was full of inappropriate humor, <laughs> and immature humor. Still, speed cameras everywhere. It's a pretty cool drive. Pretty much just these wind turbines for miles and miles and miles and miles. Yeah, get it right, America. Shit. <laughs> but, um, Obama, I hope you're watching. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> We're excited. We're gonna hit our second country of the day. Two out of three. Very nice. Very nice. Apparently, it's actually brought us lot, but yeah. It's a well known tourist destination. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of people there knowing about that. Ah, <laughs> much worse in the winter. <laughs> There's actually a boat leaving Vienna on the river to go to Bratislava. The boat Berlingo. Just crossed into Slovakia. Slovakia, hello! Hello! Look at Bratislava. We are here. Hello, Bratislava. I got my coins. Now the adventure begins. <laughs> Let's go! Do we need to pay toll? No. No, we, no, need to we got vignettes. We have to pay bribes. Vignettes! We have to pay bribes now. <laughs> oh, look at that. The city is 59. You must memorize the speed limit because we don't have enough money for speed limit in city, okay? It says 50. It says 130 here. Hmm. No cows so far. <laughs> or meese. meese. Still no meese. Hilma, Hilma. We can see the city. But not right now. Hello. <laughs> Oh, Here we go. There it is. Wow, it's so pretty. <laughs> There's a big communist tower at the top <laughs> of that. Hello, Bratislava. Can we climb the communist tower? How much for gas? How much? <laughs> One, two, nine, nine. Diesel or? Does he diesel? Look at all these commie buildings. <laughs> oh my god! So much communism. <laughs> That's what it looked like in the movie! <laughs> they probably filmed it here. <laughs> Looking at it now. <laughs> Very nice! So much communism. Oh, we're, we're gonna have great dinner today. Yeah. Slovakian cuisine. We're gonna have Does anyone know what a traditional Bratislavan meal is? Dogs. Dogs. <laughs> Capitalist. Capitalist. Parad Castle in beautiful Bratislava. See, we're looking out here over the new town, which we're told is very depressing. Uh, however, the old town should be very nice. Nice place to eat. Behind us, we have the castle built in 907 AD. Almost as old as we are. <laughs> Looks like it's been redone a little bit. The, the curbs were covered in cars, so we had to walk all the way up here to get around. <laughs> what do you guys think of Bratislava so far? Hey, hey, what do you think of Bratislava? 
Uh, we just got here. I haven't seen Old Town yet, but the castle is pretty cool. Since 950 AD, that's pretty amazing. 907. 907. <laughs> <laughs> I know where the 50 came from. That's not <laughs> uh, I got 50 cents in my pocket. That's probably why. Okay. <laughs> pretty nice view of the river. But we could have Slovak something name. We probably could have stayed here for three months. For Looks like, like a lot of monsters coming down right down there. Joke of the day. A uh, man <laughs> went to a restaurant here in, in Bratislava and asked for the hottest plate. And uh, oh the server God. brought him the hottest <laughs> plate and ate it. He ate it, the man who ordered it. And then the waiter asked him, so how hot was it? And he said, it's uh, as brat as lava. <laughs> nice. So nice. bad. Alright, let's go find some food. Hi, hello everyone. We're here in Bratislava, Slovakia. Whoa. And hey, we just broke a cup by you, but uh, so we got here and things look very dead. We went to the castle, as you probably just watched. And, and then we started going down this very narrow street. It looked a little sketchy, but people were walking on it. There were a couple of restaurants. And we ended up in a pretty big uh, plaza. There's a band playing, as you can hear in the background. And a lot of restaurants, uh, souvenir shops, most importantly. And right now we're having dinner at this very good uh, restaurant. I had pasta, Andre had a salad with chicken, Mars had burger. Big old burger. The best burger of his life, you called it. I'll give it a top three. Top three. Ross, Ross is having some Chinese food, I don't know why. Uh, but most importantly, we're here. It's not Chinese food. We are here for the grand finale. It's a, what is it called? A heroin shot. A heroin shot. Not the drug, but Epson and is this Epson or there's there Epson? I'm not doing it, Mom. I'm not doing it. It's uh, Brad and a uh, special guest of ours <laughs> are doing it. And we'll do it pretty soon, so we'll be right back. Yesterday or today? James, Yesterday. That it's still better than the Everclear. Leave it at that. So here we are in a parking lot in Bratislava getting ready to leave when we stumbled upon this gate. Um, so we're here with another couple from Bratislava. And we freaked out because we thought we were going to spend the night in this parking lot. And then we figured out this lovely machine over here. All we have to do is put our card in and the gate opens. So we're actually going to get to go to Budapest. <laughs> we're going to spend the night in a Bratislavan parking garage. So, yeah. We're officially in Hungary. Just left Slovakia and Bratislava, heading to get our fourth vignette. Um, how's everyone feeling? Mm. Good. This is pretty. This is pretty skeevy. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dark. Um, I don't really know There's where we're supposed to go. We're gonna have to make a small detail. Hopefully, we can get a vignette at this time of night. There's no one in here. I wonder if we're supposed to go to that booth over there. I think that's on. That's the young. They pointed this way. It says bus. On the U bus. U bus. Vignettes right there. Boom. Right. This is for buses. Is it a machine? Or just... I don't know. So, uh, who wants to die first? What about <laughs> up there on the left with the green thing? I don't know. Let's go find out. Hey, video update. It's dark out. Everything's dark. Um. There's no, all the vignette stations to be able to drive legally in this country were closed. We just went running around the highway, Ross and I, trying to find an open station, but none of them are open. So I think we're entering the country semi-illegally. Semi-illegally. <laughs> um, I guess we, we hope we don't get pulled over until we find a gas station or 
something or we can buy a vignette. Oh God, a bus! <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone feeling? I'm glad to be Very back. Calm. Good. Glad to be back in the car. It was yeah. weird out there. It was weird. It was really weird. <laughs> Hungarian bus station with no lights. So, I like, yeah. So, we'll just keep it the speed limit. Not get pulled over. We got a lot of vignettes on the window. Oh boy. What does that mean? <laughs> that side of, What? I don't know. Something about radar. Something about vignette on it. Something about. I don't know. It's an adventure. Gas station. There's a gas station coming up. Alright, gas station. Yeah. Right. See you later. What are all these flashing lights? Can you read them, Brad? Not read them. I can see, see them. Yeah. Sorry. That is incredible. It's a little weird, but there's an absolute ton of flashing red lights out there, assumedly from wind turbines. Or aliens. Or aliens. <laughs> or aliens. Yeah. Still illegally. <laughs> driving and hungry. We'll see how it goes. I will be hungry later. Where's this gas station? <laughs> oh well. Hello. You're here in Budapest, Hungary. And we just arrived in our hostel. It's about 1.40 a.m. We had a, it wasn't that long of a drive, just trying to get the net to work and People at the hostel were very nice. Coming up the stairs, we had two little kids right behind us. Freaked us out. So we're gonna pray for like two hours before going to bed <laughs> and just hope that we don't wake up next to them or what? in some sort of a ritual. I think that's called um, statutory rape. This no, it could be. Really weird time. It could be. Have you guys seen the movie Hostel? Highly recommend it. <laughs> it was not. The... Yeah. Don't watch it. <laughs> but, okay. Uh, so people lose their penis. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we are. Um, I'm looking forward to a, what's that called? The bath tomorrow. Yeah, mineral bath. Mineral thermal bath. The mineral thermal bath tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna shower probably in three days or so, and then um, yeah, I'm kind of excited to sleep. It's one thirty in the morning. We all have beds tonight. Brad has nice. his shirt off. And my pants. Are coming off. <laughs> They're already coming off right now, so I'm a little bit worried. Mm. Uh, Who's sleeping with? Watch out for the children. Where are you sleeping? That's a big question. <laughs> Where are you sleeping? That's exactly what I'm saying. We have the same thoughts. Love you, Mom. We'll leave it. <laughs>